Welcome to Microwave Delights! Hello, Air Pink. What do you have there? Looks delicious. Isn't that neat? How long do we cook that? You'll be full in no time. Time to prepare that wonderful food. Make sure you follow the instructions. Just the press of a button and we're cooking! While you're waiting, you can occupy your time with an important activity. Look! It's TV magic! Time to enjoy that delightful meal! Microwave Delights! Mmm, mmm! On today's episode, we have a couple of vegetarian options. Yes. One from a company you've heard of. Mm -hmm. Another from a company that sounds like Hanson. <laughs> right? Yes, and they are a mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't know General, what. That's supposed to be General Sows. General Sows? I know, right? What? Yeah. Let's go ahead and start with the mac and cheese. Okay. Mac and cheese with cauliflower. Yeah. That's supposed to replicate. Was it specifically saying it's supposed to replicate chicken? No, not necessarily. Here's the thing. Um, when I'm thinking of replacing a noodle dish like mac and cheese, you got to go all in, right? You got to make the noodles part of the whole cauliflower thing. Because bird's eye does have pasta made from cauliflower. Okay. And they have their own like cheesy pasta thing and it's actually pretty decent. Mm. It's not bad. Um, but that's the thing is that the pasta itself is made from the cauliflower. This stuff is just normal mac and cheese with some cauliflower in it. So <laughs> what? Like, Where's the savings? Macaroni cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. There's a distinctly watery vegetable. <laughs> is there one? Inside of there. Mm-hmm. We call it cauliflower. <laughs> I can taste cauliflower. Mm hmm Like, it's very strong. I would never just think that, or like mistake that for anything else. Mm hmm There's a heavy vegetal flavor mm -hmm. along with these noodles. Mm hmm But the cheese and the noodles and the vegetables come together to make kind of an acceptable dish. Acceptable, I would... I'm not going to, you can't milk any more out of that. I'm going to let it slip. That. I'm yeah. going to let that slip. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll say this is a, an acceptable dish, depending on price. Mm -hmm. Like, I would imagine, being vegetarian, that this is going to be prohibitively expensive, and that'll piss me off enough. Here's the thing. So, I think this was the same price as our last microwave meal. $3.99? All right, I'm sold. I'm sold. I like it. I like it. Yeah, you do kind of get the hint of a Brussels sprout, and that's the most unpleasant thing you could get in this profile lineup. I well, think. it's not the hint of a Brussels sprout. It's the hint of a fart. Mm -hmm. It's the hint of many farts. Cabbage farts. It is farts from uh -huh. Christmas past, uh -huh. is what, it's, what it tastes like. <laughs> it's Grandma's couch farts. Yeah, it tastes like Grandma's couch farts. There are definitely yeah. a lot of farts. It's... It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It is okay. And now we're going to go ahead and move on Ooh. to the wine <laughs> of the night. Once again, Cascadian Outfitters giving you your snowshoes <laughs> and cross country skis for 20 years, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's another 13.1%. This is a sparkling rose and it has a Yeti. Yep. A yeasty Yeti. Once again, return of the Yeti. A yeasty. <laughs> All right. Ye steady. I ye steady. <laughs> so, sparkling <clears throat> rosé. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. 
Oh. This is certainly stronger flavored than the white. Mm. Very lacking in any kind of a sweetness for a rosé. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, I'm a little bit uh, thrown off by that. But, I want to say it kind of tastes like a pre-mixed um, mimosa. You know what I mean? Kind of. Like, I don't get a lot of the citrusy notes, but I get like sparkling cap. Mm -hmm. You know? It's interesting. Yeah. I like it. Do I like it paired with this meal? Hmm. Hey, it doesn't really go with the meal. Yeah. It also isn't as good as the white, but it's completely drinkable. Oh yeah. I could definitely kill this. I'm just like a little bit deep into the night where I have <laughs> a little bit of other things to drink as well. And it's uh. like, if this is the cherry on top of the cake, it's like, hey, that's an extra <laughs> cherry I don't need. All right, let's try. The, the general quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> what a unpleasant texture. I object. <laughs> I object. This sucks. I hate this. It's a texture, right? Mm. It's like Filleting a balloon. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, I hate it. Like, like you made rice and beans or something, and you uh -huh. had your rice cooker and you put that in the sink. Yeah, and you're, okay. you're leaving it to soak. <laughs> Or something, you know, so you wouldn't have to do so much scrubbing later on. <laughs> you just pull up and like, yeah. oh, I forgot. <laughs> I there still was, need there was some rice in there. <laughs> hum, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> this um, is bad. I hate it's it. not great. Like there are seasonings though in the rice that I like. I I, I taste know. a faint amount of like oyster sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. Just a faint amount. Maybe I'm getting more of like a soy layer with some ginger. Yeah, soy, oyster sauce, some garlic, some onion, and, and a lot of salt. Hmm. And there's a hint of someone who has tasted a flavor before. Yeah. All in all, I am not approving of the particular um, sauce. No. I think it's too rich to taste any of the ingredients and I think that's the point. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. is. And it's that salt that you're talking about. It's like it's completely hammering everything else out. And it's just a very unpleasant mush after that point. Like, it's a mush. Yeah. It's it, definitely a mush. Yeah. I would give the macaroni and cheese. I honestly think I like the last thing we had better. Uh, the, um, the eat well thing? Yeah. Oof. I think the eat well was better. No, I can't, I can't agree with you. I give it a three. I give it a three. You give the mac and cheese a three? A three? I give the mac and cheese a six. This general sows shit? Mm-hmm. I'm giving that a three. Ooh. Like, for one, this is not general sows. It's not. Like, it is completely not General Sows. 100%. The texture is terrible. Not General Sows. Yeah. Has none of the ingredients of General Sows. Doesn't mm -hmm. taste like General Sows. Mm. Doesn't even have meat. Mm. I'm still gonna give it a four. Yeah? Because <laughs> from a flavor profile alone, mm. it's the best tasting thing I have had out of the last four microwave meals. Including this cheese? Yeah. Okay. All right. We can we can give that up to you. But and I, I, I really I'm not it saying it good. tastes good. I'm just saying it tastes the best. Marginally better. <laughs> I think the wine, to me, has a little bit too much sweetness. You know what I'm saying? It has now a, it's sweet. It has a little bit of that thing going on. It doesn't... It's not quite 
where the white is. Not quite the white. Not quite the white? I would give it a six. Mm. I like this wine. Um, but I wouldn't say it's a good wine. No. I would just say it's probably where you could buy it again. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that it should have brand mm -hmm. recognition at that point. I'm just saying it's like, if you accidentally buy it again, you might not be sorry. <laughs> so, five for the uh, Cascadia Outfitters Rosé. Um, the white that they had was better. Yeah. Even though it's way more ambiguous of a grape. And they are not going to let us in on whatever that secret is. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. cheers, Cascadian Outfitters. It's neat, though. I would highly recommend you try out Cascadian Outfitters if you haven't had a canned wine before. Yeah. it's uh, It's got a thing going for it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty interesting. And try out their new six-inch uh, spoon rig. <laughs> like, they got, you know... Like lures and stuff, <laughs> like fishing. Yeah. Oh, because they're outfitters. Yeah. It's it's on there. Go catch you a rainbow trout. <laughs> yeah. Maybe get a flounder. You, get you some of that power bait. You got mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yeah. It comes in hyper green uh -huh. and neon yellow flavors. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. true. Power yeah. bait. To power bait. That's everyone. how it works. Cheers to power bait. To power. Wait. 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 Mmm.